silent. Yeah. Should be. Did that when I came in? Yep. Okay. So one's the Let's do this, man. You're gonna be like a DJ and get right up close. Yeah? Uh, well, I, uh, I play guitar and sing too. Oh, awesome. So I, I kind of I guess so this. So you guys, okay. <laughs> All right. I sing in the shower, but you know, this was totally different. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, okay, we're, we're live on Facebook. So, thank you so much for being with us here again in Canciones de Domingo. Sorry about that. Um, just turning up the volume on the air. Uh, but we have the Colorado Blizzard here in the studio. We have the head coach, John Wells, and we have the soccer player, Luis Reyes? Luis Perez. Luis Perez. Luis Perez, disculpe. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about the new season that is coming up. Oh, the first season, basically, right? Correct, yep. yep. And uh, and they have already all the players. I remember going to the tryouts, and uh, it was really, really good. It turned out really good. And actually, Luis is one of the persons that tried out that day. So tell us a little bit more about the new season. How are you guys getting ready for it? And uh, and how do you get to be the, the head coach? Well, actually, I've been the owner and the head coach of the Blizzard since 2008. Uh, we've been playing in the amateur leagues of the PASL, which is the premier arena soccer league here around the United States. And uh, it was just a, an avenue to help players be able to play at the next level. So the, uh, I played a lot uh, overseas in Germany years ago. And uh, at that point in time, uh, when I retired, I decided I'd try and help other players get to the, the highest levels. And been part of indoor for quite a while too so that's kind of how it all kind of came together and uh, we've been pretty successful uh, with the Colorado Blizzard so we decided uh, to maybe move a little north of Colorado Springs to the Denver metro area to where there's a, a bigger fan base probably and you know we're playing at the Denver Coliseum so awesome. it seats 9,000 people so we're going to see if we can fill that place up. Awesome, yeah and I uh, remember for the tryouts uh, we had like 50 something. 52. Uh, 52. So, yeah, Luis was picked out of 52 players. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations, Thank Luis. You. Thank How do you, you feel about it? Oh, it's it's great. It's um, it's a new adventure. I mean, it's it's going to be, um, I mean, it's going to be professional indoor soccer, you know. I never really, never, never, never really crossed my mind at all, you know. Um, and I, I came into this tryout, you know, thinking I'm, you know, going to have some fun, you know, play some soccer. And if I make it, yeah. And if no, it's, it's okay, but. Um, I tried out, and then Coach Wells just sent us an email and told me I was on the squad. So was, I guess now I now that it's um, really hit me, and uh, I guess I'm going to take this really serious now. You know, not just for fun. Well, you have yeah. to. You're on the radio. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, tell us a, a little bit about um, when did you find out that you were going to be one of the players? Oh, no. He sent, a, he sent a, an email like a week after the tryout. Oh, okay. He sent it like on, uh, well, it was like a week later, and then I was just going through my, I was at work, and I was, went through my emails, saw Coach Wells, like, oh, well, yeah, we'd like you to come practice. Yes. Yeah. All right, awesome. cool. Well, let's do this thing. <laughs> so, uh, when you were trying out, uh, did you ever thought that, okay, I think I'm one of the best ones here, or? Um, well, I mean, I scored the first goal. Oh. I scored the first goal of the tryout, so, I mean, I felt pretty good after that, because, I mean... After that first goal, I got really tired since, you know, indoors, like, just a, a bunch well, of sprinting. Yeah. So I really wasn't used to it then. And then, well, like, by, by the second, third quarter, I mean, I wasn't even, I was a non-existent, I guess you could say. <laughs> but, I mean, I did good the first five minutes, you know, and I guess that was that was enough. And now that we're practicing now, I guess we're we're getting used to it now. We're kind of getting the our cardio, bodies in shape. Yeah, yeah the cardio's, cardio's working. It's, it's a lot easier. It's getting easier. Good. And how old are you, Luis? 23. 23? Yes. Wow. Awesome. So, how long have you been playing soccer? Me? I've been playing soccer um, since we were a little, really. I mean, I, I have cousins who I grew up with, and uh, they all play soccer. We're, our family is super competitive. Oh. So, I grew up with, you know, having to play them all the time, and it got it got heated all the time. <laughs> and so, you know, I just grew up with that competitive. I started when I was like five. I've just been playing ever since. Never, never can let it go. That's Never at this level, though. This oh. is this is something new. And what do what do you think, Coach? Is he well, doing when, good? 
Well, when you when you're at trials with 52 people, you got to kind of watch. You're watching all the players, but you kind of you know you're looking for little things like you know touch on the ball. Do they have pace? Can they can they get by people? Are they fast? You know, and all that kind of stuff. And Luis actually uh, found good marks by his name. You know, as he said, kind of right away during the first quarter of the tryout. So when, once you've put a few good marks down by a person's name, looking at 52, other, you know, 51 other people, you got to kind of move on to the next guy. And at the end of the day, you see who has the most marks by their name for things that you like, things that you think you can work with, and things like that. And Louis stood out, you know, in our minds. And uh, Coach Avery, my assistant coach, he, he walked over to me right away and said, hey, we want this guy. So he was also playing that day, right? Yeah, yeah. He's he's actually a player coach. Uh, Tony's got tons of experience. He's played pro indoor for many many years. Uh, he retired. I drug him out of retirement. <laughs> so he's uh, he's going to be one of our older veteran players. That's going to. He was doing pretty his, good too. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a hard guy to get the ball from when you play the ball <laughs> into his feet. So. <laughs> and uh, um, can you tell us a little bit what's different between uh, indoor soccer and outdoor soccer? Well, the biggest difference is the the amount of time you have to make decisions. Outdoor, the field's so big, when a ball comes to you, you have a little bit of time to think about it. Uh, indoor, you, you touch the ball wrong, and some guy's running by you and stealing it from you. And, yeah, he's, he's, it, he's getting on my butt a lot about uh, <laughs> touching the ball with your sole of your shoe. Because oh. yeah, in outdoor, I mean, you, you touch with the outside of your foot and with the inside, and you know, and it's, you, you get to have a little more space. You have a little more space. Here, he's like really on you about when the ball comes to you, put the ball, your foot on top of the ball, okay. stop it, and then turn, you know. Okay. That's something I try. If, you, know, if you don't, you yeah, can just run right by. <laughs> if, you, if you touch it and the ball goes two or three feet away from you, it's already gone. Oh, the yeah, because it's runs right by smaller. You yeah. Smaller and I saw that um, there's five minutes each player. Uh, well, no, we, we generally run 60 to, to 65 second shifts. Oh. Because when we, when we get, once the team has been picked and we start playing, uh, on game day, we'll have, uh, we're allowed to suit 15 players. Oh, wow. So we keep a 25 man roster, and 15 guys will get a play on game day, and you'll run two shifts. So basically, you run for 60 seconds, get off, let the next guy run for 60 seconds, get off, and you just rotate that way. It's similar to hockey. Get in, get out, get in, get out. And also the penalties. Yes. Penalties. There is, there is two-minute penalties to where the other team does have to play a man short for two minutes. Yeah, I, so. thought, I thought that was pretty cool. I never really watched indoor soccer till that day, and I was like, huh, that is interesting. But that's, you know, it is, it's really cool how everybody's like, okay, now we have only, you know, five players and how they move faster. And it's, I mean, I saw them sweating like crazy, and it wasn't like, you know, they were not on the field like for so long, but it was so quick. Right. That is like the adrenaline and you well, know, guys the will train. And they'll they'll come to our tryout after playing probably four or five months of outdoor. And an outdoor, you can pick and choose when you can rest out on the field. As a player, when the ball is completely on the other side of the field, you may be able to take a 10, 15 second little rest. Yeah. Walk a little bit and everything, but indoor, you don't have time to do that. Wow, that is, but that was really awesome. I really liked it watching it and. Uh, so we started the season when? Uh, first home game, uh, actually first game of the season is our first home game, December 16th awesome. at the Denver Coliseum against the Detroit Waza is Detroit the name Waza. of the team. And I know um, the tickets are already available and they are, what they is can, it? You can go to uh, C-O-B-L-I-Z-Z, that's C-O-B-L-I-Z-Z dot com. And uh, we've got the, the game, the family packs, the season tickets, everything is on there. Okay, and um, everything is going to be at the Coliseum except in January when the stock show is going to be. Correct. Uh, we'll, we'll be on the road the entire month of January. That's the during that month we'll travel to uh, Phoenix, Arizona, Las Vegas, uh, play the Las Vegas Knights, and then uh, our I-25 corridor arrival, the Colorado Inferno down in Colorado Springs. We'll play them in January as well. So yeah, we'll be we'll be out the whole month of January because of the stock shows. So. Yeah, yeah, that's something that you cannot take out of the Coliseum. <laughs> yeah. So we, I mean, luckily we get two home games in January, December sixteenth, December twenty third, and then uh, we have four straight home games if, starting February third. Awesome. So. And we'll be sharing this information also uh, on my Facebook page and also on KUHS Denver uh, Facebook page. Uh, if you want any more information about it, just go ahead, uh, shoot me a message, and I'll go ahead and send you the information you need. Um, also, we're going to 
uh, as Luis to tell us in Spanish uh, everything about his experience with the Colorado Blizzards and uh, about the new season and everything. Así que empieza Luis a decirnos. Hablar español. Sí, hablar español. Dinos uh, cómo empezaste con los Colorado Blizzards. Este, también, que, ¿cuál ha sido tu experiencia con ellos hasta ahorita? Y de la nueva temporada, cuando empieza y, y todo eso para que nuestra audiencia de habla hispana nos, en, nos escuche también. Sí, sí. No, pues, uh, pues yo uh, cuando escuché los Blizzards, pues... Uh, yo estaba en, en mi página de Facebook y no sé por qué me salió ahí a um, Colorado Blizzard a uh, tryout en el Denver Coliseum. Dije, no, pues, ok, tenías que pagar 40 dólares o algo así. Y luego pues, pagas y, ok, pues, el tryout es en este día. Y, hey, ok, no, no, pues, lo intento y fui. Y, um, pues, cuando, um, cuando llegué ahí, pues, sí, sí vi que habían muchos jugadores. Y, no, pues yo cuando, cuando, ya cuando empezamos a jugar, pues, sabes, um, pues, ta, 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 es un juego diferente, es un juego muy diferente. Y, um, um, pues, yo, yo soy más bien que juega afuera, pero ahora que, pues, estoy aprendiendo más de este juego, está, está, está bien. El equipo me gusta y, um, pues, queremos seguir adelante, a ver qué hacemos con el equipo. ¿Y cómo te está yendo en las prácticas? Bien, bien, bien. Las prácticas pues, son, son intensas. Eh, es que como son bien tarde. Oh, ¿a nos, nos, nosotros nosotros practicamos las prácticas en, en Castle Rock. Oh. De 9 de la noche a 11 de la noche. Oh, wow. Y pues después de trabajar todo el día y luego tener que ir a entrenar, no, se pone, se pone difícil. Pero, pero yo sé que pues es sacrificio. No te agarra la adrenalina, o sea, cuando estás cansado y dices, ah, voy a practicar. Si sí, no, la no, pues sí. Empieza sí, y pues ya. sí, ya se, de repente pues se sube. Ya se no sube, puedes sí, dormir. Ya, sí, ya. Y pues ya uno, pues como yo vivo aquí en Denver, yo vivo aquí cerca de aquí en Westminster. Oh, ok. Pues tengo que manejar de, de este Castle Rock hasta la, hasta la casa y luego pues despertar otra vez para trabajar y otra vez y todo. ¿En qué trabajas? En, hago, yo hago granito. Yo hago okay. uh, mesas de granite countertops. Oh, ok. ¿Es pesado? Um, sí, es pesado. Uh, pues ahorita ya, ya no mucho. El negocio está bien. Uh, uh, trabajo con mi primo. Oh, y él okay. le acaban de dar un préstamo de, de trabajo y de, pues de, de dinero para que compre un taller oh, con mecánicas muy avanzadas. Oh, y ya no trabajo mucho. Yo mucha computadora. Ah, no, pues sí. Pero, <risa> pero pues mucho, mucha mente. Sí, eso sí. Mucha, eso sí. Mente, mucha gente sí. que piensa que cosas así son fáciles o no, no si sí requiere mucha, no nomás este, poner mucho la mente, pero también creatividad. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí es sí. muchas cosas porque también no saben que también son, se dedican a diseñarlos y todas sí, esas cosas. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces uh -huh. tienen que ser creativos. Sí. Y otra vez, eh, como estaba yo hablando, tenía mis... Uh, a mis invitados anteriores eran de, de un proyecto de filmación uh -huh. y les estaba yo diciendo que, que se necesita mucha pasión para hacer todo esto porque muchas veces son muchas horas, mucho tiempo oh, sí. y no, a veces el dinero no es mucho. Uh -huh. Entonces también es lo mismo con los deportes. O sí. sea, cuando empiezas apenas, tiene que ser más la pasión oh, lo que sí. tienes por ahí oh, con sí, lo que sí, te sí, sí, ahorita ya, pues, digo del fútbol, pues no sé, no lo puedo dejar. No, no, no. No se puede. No, pues no, es algo que, que ojalá pues puedan este, seguir más adelante. Y también este, estando en los Colorado Blizzards, te da la oportunidad de que te vean a las ligas mayores, de que te sí, sí. De, de exponerte así para, para eso. Y eso es lo que estaban diciéndonos el otro día Gary y el señor Ed, que son los CEO de, de Colorado Blizzards, um, los dueños. Estaban diciendo que también querían darle la oportunidad a muchos uh, jóvenes para que fueran expuestos y los vieran las ligas mayores. Entonces, ya de ahí, por decir, los Colorado Rapids uh, um, y todos esos Galaxy, todos esos puedan verlos y, y de ahí también escogerlos. O sea, sí. es una gran oportunidad. Sí. Ojalá, ojalá. Pues uh, entrenamos y le echamos las ganas pues, a ver hasta dónde llegamos. Pues sí. Pues, ¿Y so cuándo? Dinos, ¿cuándo empieza la, la temporada? La temporada, el primer juego es diciembre 16 en el Denver Coliseum. Um, ¿Contra quién? ¿Cuál es su nombre de nuevo? ¿Cómo se llama? Detroit Waza. Detroit Waza, sí. Detroit Waza. Tú no más sabes cómo está jugando. Sí, yo voy a jugar. Yo no he visto. Voy a dar esa información mañana. Sí. No, no es un dicho. No es un dicho. So, I, I have it before he does. Yeah. <laughs> Pero sí, entonces ya tienen a todos los jugadores. Él empezó por, como estaba diciendo, en los tryouts, que son las... Uh, Um, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se le puede decir en español? A ver, ayúdame. ¿En el coliseo? No, 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 cuando estaban los tryouts. Las prácticas o como para cuando pa iban a escoger a los jugadores. ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Ya se olvidó. Mi no habla. <ríe> Mi no habla. <ríe> 
pero sí, él, él fue y había como 52, dijeron, ¿verdad? 52 sí. otros uh, jugadores que fueron a competir para ver quién se quedaba en los Colorado Blizzards y él se quedó. Uh, así que es una gran oportunidad y vamos a ver este qué pasa, pero es en el Denver Coliseo, van a ser los juegos excepto en enero. En enero no se puede porque está el Stack Show, que es un, es un show muy grande aquí en Denver donde tienen caballos, vacas, toros y todo eso. Entonces es todo el mes de enero y van a estar ellos jugando fuera en Las Vegas, en Phoenix, este, en Colorado Springs y, y eso. Entonces, este, si les gustan seguir, también los boletos ya están de venta. Uh, voy a pasar la información por mi página de Facebook para que si gustan uh, comprar los boletos de temporada o individuales. Así que uh, no se les olvide, todo va a estar también transmitido en vivo. Everything's going to be also live. Uh, uh, yeah, everything will be streamed. Live. All, the, all the games in the MASL2 have to be live streamed. So. That's awesome. And I saw like the first, well, the, the, the game with Mexico Blizzard um, versus uh, USA was uh, like that. And I was watching the whole thing. I saw the reporters. I saw, you know, they did a great job in English and Spanish. So it's at the same time. It's pretty cool. Right. I really like dual, it. A dual broadcast. And we're actually in talks with uh, AT&T Sports, uh, Sports Net, which used to be Root TV, oh. which is local in Colorado. So we're, we're working on a deal with them to have our games played live. That is on, that. On uh, att.net. So. Yeah, so if you don't have the opportunity to go to the, the Denver Coliseum or you don't live here in Colorado, you can always watch him, you know, and check him out. It's really cool. It's a very different type of game that I'm used to. Like, this is soccer outside. This soccer indoors is really different. They have penalty boxes. So they, if there's something, uh, how, how do they, somebody that commits a penalty, is sent to the box, right? Yeah, they go they go sit on the opposite side of the field in the penalty box for two minutes. It's a blue card. It's a blue card. Blue card. Blue so card. there you have it. But yeah, and, and it gets really cool because you can see the players like so anxious to get out of the box and <laughs> get back in there and yelling at his teammates, you know, it's like, oh don't do this when he just did a penalty. So. <laughs> right, right. And one of the one of the biggest things we want people to know is we're gonna be a very uh, a fan friendly team. When the game is over, every, every home game that we have, the fans will be invited down onto the field to meet the players, get pictures, get autographs. There's not going to be any of this. When the game's over, we just disappear into the locker room. Don't like you me. see it a lot no of the pro venues. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, at the end of the day, our, it's all about our fans. And, and without the fans, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. So. Exactly. And I even saw the, uh, the CEOs going into the field last time when the, the game for the U.S. Yeah, we'll Mexico have, we'll have everybody. There. Win or lose, we'll, we'll have everybody down, down on the field. Kids can come get pictures, autographs. Single women can come meet our single players. You know. Okay, so I cannot go because I'm married, so I cannot go down to the field. Oh, you can come down. Okay. You can come down. Oh, he just says your, your single. Husband, your husband may not like you talking to the players. Oh, he just, I mean, look at my job. <laughs> you know, I'll be not be doing we'll this. Like, we'll let you come in locker room. Okay, well, yeah, that I did last time, too. <laughs> But, but we just want great. everybody to know that, you know, we're not going to win or lose. We're not just going to walk off the field. We're going to be a very fan-friendly fan, fan friendly team, and, and they'll be able to talk to anybody. That is so yeah. awesome. I'm looking forward to it. I, I think I'll be there. Um, we're still talking about um, doing interviews on sidelines and stuff like that. So uh, you might see me there, so you might be getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never get tired right? of, of the media. We'll never be tired. So, so we'll be there, uh, you know, helping out and supporting you guys. And also, you know, uh, you guys are more than welcome to, you know, come over and, you know, let us know what's new, what's, uh, what else is going on, or if you guys have something special going on. Like, I know there's presentations sometimes that you guys do, um, like, uh, to help out the hospitals and things like that. I was talking to Gary, um, one of the owners, and he was saying he wanted to do something like that about going and visit the, the kids at the children's hospitals. And Correct, like yeah, we, we, we actually have th this last week kind of signed a deal with Children's Hospital yeah. where we're actually going to actually have a section of the Coliseum designed for kids that have been oh, patients at that? Children's Hospital, kids that are currently in Children's Hospital, if they can come out, get them to the games and stuff like that, and then you'll start seeing lots of our players visiting Children's Hospital and stuff like that as well. And uh, Boys and Girls Clubs of America, and we're going to work with a lot of the unprivileged youth in the Metro Denver area. So. Yeah, I heard that. I mean, it's just not a team. It's just not, you know, like uh, something that is like looking for money or anything like that. Is They're helping a lot of people, you know, everybody that they can, they're helping. So um, I talked to 
uh, Gary, and he was saying that he wants to do a lot of good things for the community, and and seems like he is doing it. So. Right. Well, the, the the good thing about the Denver Coliseum is when we rent the facility for our home game, we have the facility all day long. Oh, so wow. we're we're they didn't working. Tell me I can have my party yeah. afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're working right now with them to to make sure it's okay, you know, as far as liability and insurance and all that kind of stuff, yeah, where we could maybe do some some of those free clinics oh. the morning of our home games and stuff like that to get some of the unprivileged youth to come out and do a free soccer clinic for them, get to meet some of the players and, and stuff like that, and then invite them back that evening for, for the home game. So. Well, that is great. And, you know, so whenever you guys, if you guys need me there, I'll be more than happy to, to help out. You know, Cancines de Domingo is always trying to support everybody in that community, either you know, activities, um, you know, athletes and stuff like that. So we're always trying to make sure everybody knows about the local stuff that is going on here in Colorado. We had great, you know, players. We have uh, great actors. We had great singers. We had great actors. And, and that's what we're all about. We're trying to help out. So just let us know, and we'll be more than happy to, to help you guys out with anything. Sounds great. We appreciate you having us. We're, we're looking welcome. forward to a nice, long relationship with you guys. So. Definitely. So anything else that you guys would like to add? Uh, well, we just want to make sure everybody knows about our, our first game of the season and our first home game, December 16th, at the, the Denver Coliseum. Uh, again, that the website you can go to is cobliz, B-L-I-Z-Z dot com, and that's where you can get tickets and, and see all the stuff. Where we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at cobliz.com. Okay, I didn't have that Twitter one. I have yeah, that and then our, our Facebook one is, is just Colorado Blizzard, I believe. Yeah, Colorado I'm not Blizzard. a Facebooker, yeah. so I'm not a big social media Don't guy. Don't worry, I got so. that for you. I <laughs> and we're on that. Instagram as well. So oh, I don't have that one. Yeah, we're, we're out there trying to just get the word out and get as many people out to our, our, our home game as we can and put out a good product and win some games. Awesome. And I also uh, saw that you guys have already the Colorado Blizzard apparel out. Do you mind, Luis, showing us your shirt? Well, actually, the, what Luis and I have on currently <laughs> is is the old Blizzard stuff. We, oh. We have rebranded. Oh. We have rebranded. That's uh, the logo on your piece of paper. Oh, that's okay. Our, that's our rebrand. Um, that the, all that apparel is in route, so we're that's anticipating good. having it in the next uh, probably this week coming up. So. Okay. Well, the media gave one for free. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure Gary knows. To, oh, yeah, Gary owes me. Gary, if you're listening, <laughs> if you're watching, you owe me. Um, but anyways, uh, Luis, so te, uh, dilas, dinos ahora en español lo que dijo nuestro coach este, del juego y eso. No, pues, uh, para recordar otra vez que el primer juego va a ser el uh, 16 de uh, diciembre en uh, Denver Coliseum. Y, um, ¿Dónde ganan los tickets? ¿Dónde ganan los tickets? En el... En el en ¿W? ¿Dónde la ganamos? Pues, C.O. ¿no? <risa> C.O. Bliss. Yeah. Pero en español. Pues W. 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 C.O. C -O B. L. B. L. I. Z. Z. Uh -huh. Punto com. com. Ya, yeah, ahí está la página esa, les va a dar otro, también otro link que creo que es el AXS, I, I believe. Yes, AXS, right? yeah. Ya, yeah, eh, y ahí también pueden comprar los boletos, así que uh, no se les olvide. Si tienen cualquier una pregunta o algo, uh, uh, nomás mándanos un email o la página de ellos. Este, los dueños son muy, uh, son muy amistosos, así que también ellos están muy envueltos con la social media. I was saying that the CEOs are actually very involved with social media. I see them a lot, like, checking the messages and stuff like that. Right. So if anybody have any questions, and also, also they take donations. So Correct. Um, well, we actually we're, we have started a, a nonprofit with the Blizzard as well. Oh. And the reason we did do that is because that will help us with our outreach for the underprivileged children and the Boys and Girls Clubs of America and stuff like that. So we, the, the nonprofit is up and functioning. So uh, as, as any pro sports team, we are always looking for sponsors and people that want to invest in the team and do lots of advertising with us and stuff like that. So having the nonprofit helps in that manner as well for potential sponsors and stuff like that. So. So there you guys have it. Um, if you guys have, you know, want to sponsor them or if you guys want to participate a little bit, even anything helps. So uh, just go ahead and contact them. Uh, let me check just some of the message to see if anybody has any questions. And just real quick, you, you can also walk up on the day of a game and buy tickets at the Coliseum as well. 
Oh, okay. You don't have so to just buy them online. online. You can't. You can't walk up the day game and buy them. Because you know, there's a lot of people that they're not. They don't like online stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, the, the, we had probably 500 walkups at the U.S. Mexico game. Wow. A lot of people did buy online, but we had about 500 walkups. So, so that and, and we will function with the the, the Denver Coliseum box office. Okay. All tickets and everything will go through the box office. So you just come to the Denver Coliseum. You can walk right up to the box office and That's buy tickets. That's awesome. Also. Que pues ya saben, pueden también comprar su boleto ahí en, en el mismo coliseo, si no lo compran en línea, este, todos los boletos van a estar vendidos por ahí también, y, y o sea, es lo mismo, ¿es the same price? Well, we're going to, if you've ever been to the Coliseum, there's a row of blue seats around the lower bowl. Those will be a $13 ticket, and then, or excuse me, an $18 ticket, and anything above the blue seats will be about an $18 ticket. So they're very affordable for the family as uh, so they, it, it's a family night and they have food. <laughs> well, we, yeah, we do, we do, I, I apologize for not knowing the cost of this, but we are providing also a family pack. Oh, okay. okay. So what, what would cost a family of four to probably come probably for the price of three people, I'm guessing. Uh, oh, okay. And again, I apologize. I'm not sure what that price is. I don't do that. I do the team side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't know anything about my friend stuff? No, but um, actually, we'll get that information. I'm pretty sure that Ed or Gary will send it to us, right. and, and we'll go ahead and share it. So, uh, estaba diciendo que también hay unos paquetes familiares que eh, para una familia de cuatro que pague como si fuera una familia de tres. Ahorita no tenemos los precios, pero en cuanto uh, tenga todo listo, los dueños de del equipo, estoy segura que nos lo van a mandar y lo vamos a compartir también en el Facebook, así que no se les olvide siempre estar uh, chequeándonos para ver qué información tenemos. Y luego vamos a ver, este, a ver si tienen alguna pregunta o decirles hola a los que nos están viendo. a ah, mi mami. <risa> <risa> hola, mamá, la amo y la extraño mucho. Espero que se la esté pasando súper bien en México. Um, <risa> she's on vacations. <risa> so I miss her. Uh, there's the do love doctor. Love doctor kisses. Uh, let's see, uh, Teresa Smith, good afternoon, Teresa, thank you for tuning in. Um, there's one more, the, the Ciudad de Licias, también la amo mamá y también a mi tía Chica, espero que se la estén pasando bien, cuídense mucho. A todo, a todo de Licias, un saludo. De donde so soy she, yo. Need, she needs <laughs> her vacation in Denver on December 16th. Oh, no, she'll, she'll better so be she, here so by she then. Can <laughs> she better be here by then, she's been gone for two weeks. But, yeah, so, um. Hi to my city, Delicias. So I'm from a city called Delicious. All right, Delicious. Yeah. Oh, okay. right. Delicious Chihuahua. My friend Johnny. Johnny, thank you for watching us. The, the Chihuahua? Chihuahua. So Chihuahua. 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 Yo también. ¿También eres Yo soy de Ciudad Juárez. Oh, ándale. Ciudad Marín. Juárez. No, de, nos preguntan, ¿eres de, ¿eres de Chihuahua? No, yo soy de Juárez. <laughs> no, mis viseras de Chihuahua. Sí. Soy de Chihuahua, de Delicias Chihuahua. Ah. So, bien cerquitas, ¿ya sí, ven? Sí. A mi amigo Shaki, que nos están viendo desde la India. Hi, Shakti, thank you for watching us. Our friend Gabe, hello, Gabe, feliz día. Muy bien, como siempre, thank you. <laughs> Made me turn red. Darlene Hernandez, thank you, Darlene, for watching us. And, and I'm glad you're doing much better. There's a, one of my friends that she was sick. Actually, she is one of the best hairdressers in Brighton, Colorado, at the um, Art of Hair Salon in Brighton, Colorado. So if you guys need a haircut, she's a really good barber, too, so. Uh, just go check it out. Uh, Shock Ulibarri, thank you, Shock. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you guys for being with us uh, one more time in here in Cantones de Domingo. So we'll see you guys next Sunday. And don't forget, uh, the first game is December 16th. Yep, December 16th, and you can get your tickets at coblizzard.com. And there's a link in there that will send you to the, uh, the page that they sold the tickets, actually. But you can also walk into the Coliseum and buy your ticket there. So, um, Gracias por estar con nosotros. Y no se les olvide, el primer juego es el 16 de diciembre. Y pueden comprar su ticket en línea o pueden comprarlo también ahí en el Coliseo. Este, van a, el dinero que están juntando y todo eso es para muy buenas, um, ¿cómo se dice? Causas. Fundaciones y causas. Gracias, Luis. Me salvó de una. <risa> <risa> para muy buenas causas. Y están haciendo cosas muy, muy bonitas. Así que, uh, y es muy divertido. Muy divertido y una cosa muy familiar. Así que no se les olvide uh, estar chequeándonos en el Facebook para más información. Y este, si tienen preguntas, ya saben, este, contáctenos. Y este, nos vemos aquí el domingo que entra. ¿Están decir bye? Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Yes. Ah. Thank you. Hey, doing that Thank tonight. You guys. <laughs> Have a good Sunday.
We're still live on the international. Oh. And we leave you guys with more music with Luis Ponzi. Luis Ponzi. Yeah. We're still live on this one. Huh? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the what? Say bye okay, we say bye. Say bye, guys, to the international one. Bye, guys. I'll see, so we'll see you next Sunday. Thank you.